Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back to the show. We are excited to have Wayne Harlan joining us here today, our personal trainer and friend, and of course, owner of Row Forge. And you might say, hey, what's Row Forge? Well, you're going to figure that out. It's an amazing app, and he's going to share all the specific personal training benefits, the metrics, the stats, and all that can help you uh, build performance and, of course, help you overall structure your workout. Welcome to the show today. How are you? Thank you, Jill. I'm doing well. This is exciting. Oh, wow. oh, my goodness. So you invented an amazing app to help so many. Tell us thank just you. a little bit about RowForge and what that is exactly. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, basically, RowForge was like a, a dream that we didn't know was possible. But I worked with uh, Dr. Kenneth J. And I took his cardiovascular code program, which is, he says, is one of the most detailed cardiovascular programs on the planet today. And I programmed that into the app which is really incredible because there's so much detail that uh, most people would have a difficult time understanding what to do with it. But you can actually use this app to personalize your cardiovascular training, uh, which most people don't really know they can do. Um, when you were talking fitness training and you ask somebody about their, like how much weight they can lift, they usually know like all their stats and metrics and what they can lift for X amount of reps on each yeah. different exercise and so on. But if you ask them, well, what about your cardiovascular system? How fast can you, uh, let's say run a mile or row 2000 meter, or how fast could you row 10,000 meters and so on, or 100 or whatever. And they usually have no idea. Uh, and it's so important because it's directly tied not only to our performance and even like our physique would be better if we spent time developing that system but also your health, your longevity. So important. We're talking VO2 max. I don't know wow. if that's uh, something that's familiar. No, no. Tell us. I've heard of it. I'm not even sure what it is, though. And we have so many yeah. people out there who may be like me saying, what is it? Tell what us. What is tell that? Us. Yeah, I don't think I have that, right? Uh, but So basically, it's VO2 max means volume of maximal oxygen uptake. Okay. And it's so important. They found out with studies that people that have a high VO2 max live 10 to 15 years longer with what? higher quality of life. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. That's like what everybody wants, right? Not only are you going to live longer, but you have the higher quality with it. Um, so that's definitely something that we, we need to be focused on. It should wow. decrease your risk of all cause mortality. Amazing. Well, hold on. We're going to find out more about this and building muscle, increasing fitness overall. And all these full body workouts that you incorporate again in this indoor uh, app, uh, indoor rower map. But I want to find out more about you and your background first, if you don't mind. And then we'll get into more yeah. specifics about the training and how this does impact our health, our longevity, our performance. So tell me, you know, where are you from? And let's talk a little bit about when you were younger and, you know, how you got into this career. Yeah, sure. So um, I'm born and raised in Fresno, California, which is. Um, Kind of a smaller city in California, if you compare okay. it to L.A. and San Francisco, but it's in the Central Valley. So it's right smack dab, basically, in between L.A. and San Francisco, if you're okay. not familiar with California. Uh, there's a ton of agriculture that is there. All the raisins you eat are probably from uh, Fresno. Um, so it's kind of a desert farm town, which is funny. Uh, but that's where I grew up. And, you know, the, the beach is a couple hours away and the mountains are maybe 30, 40 minutes away. So it's kind of a cool little spot. Uh, so that's where I grew up, basically. And how did um, you get into health and fitness? Like, where did this all come from? Well, you know, athletics has always been a big part of my life. And um, we were either up uh, snow skiing, snowboarding, ah. you know, uh, doing water sports in the summer, water skiing on the lake, uh, always very active. Uh, and then I got into running across country at a certain age and track and uh, even pole vaulting for a number of years. I did pole vaulting at a very competitive, competitive level. And uh, I've always sort of loved these activities that were sort of like setting a baseline and then mm -hmm. trying to get better. And, and, you, and, you know, you can see that like with pole vaulting, for example, you, you've seen how high can I jump? And then I want to try to jump higher. Right. And that I think that kind of segued me into the fitness concept, which is how much can I lift and then I need to lift more or how fast can I run? And I want to learn how to run faster. Uh, and just slowly improve myself, which is so cool because it's kind of uh, a part of, you know, our overall development as humans, right? 
not just yeah. physically, but also mentally. Oh my goodness. Well, hold on. I got to figure this out because it was a dad who was the athlete. I know he was one of your mentors. Uh, could you share a little bit about uh -huh. him? <laughs> yeah. My dad, uh, very active. He taught me all those activities that I mentioned before. Wow. So he's very, you know, very much a part of our lives. Uh, I also have two sisters, one older, one younger and a great mother as well. So we had a, a very um, tight family that we did everything together. And uh, he was definitely uh, and still is a very good mentor for me uh, in business and in life. And so, yeah, it was nice to have somebody that wanted to teach me all these activities and that made sure I was active about doing things and uh, learning and experiencing life in that way, physically and so on. Wow. Well, this yeah. is amazing. So here you are. Uh, you mentioned you were a little more reserved when you were younger, right? But yep. uh, you got motivated and you broke out of your shell in a sense. And, you know, yeah. how did you get your start then with this career? And if you don't mind sharing a little about your family background, too, I would love to hear. I know you have a little yeah, thank girl, you. right? Who's seven? Yep. Yeah, she's seven. Um, yeah. So I'm trying to do some of those same things that I grew up doing with her. Yep. Her snow skiing and you know, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, basically, um, let's see here. What was your question exactly? How, I, I don't remember. No, no, there was a few. <laughs> it was about, well, your, your family. I would love to hear a little bit about that. And you know, uh -huh. what kind, you know, how, how did you really get your start? Uh, oh in yeah. This how field? Start? And it's okay. Yeah. So it's kind of funny. Like I was always fascinated, uh, by fitness and I wanted to be I wanted to do that. Now, at the time that I was going to, to college, as I started looking into that career, there wasn't like a, a ton of opportunity at the time. It was like around the year 2000. And my parents said, you know, I don't think that you're going to be able to make much of a living doing that. So I don't yeah. know if you should go into like nutrition and health and stuff like that. They just didn't really see a viable way of then also yeah. having a good job, right, in a career. And so then I didn't do it. Uh, for a number of years, I sort of just dropped out of college and I started doing other jobs and I was trying to figure out what I wanted because I didn't know. And then after a certain amount of time, I was, I was talking to one of my friends and, he, and um, I said, you know what? I think I just really want to be a trainer. I want to do that because I think it would make me happy. Yeah. And he said, you've been saying that for years. You're never going to do that. Huh. And so it kind of took me back and I said, wow, have I really been saying that for years? I guess, you know what? I should just do it. So I quit my job. And I started studying and I got a certification and then I went to the local gym um, and I literally barely even had enough uh, money to put gas in my tank. I was virtually broke. Um, but I said, you know what? I'm going to be happy. So I don't care if I ever make any money or not. I'm just going to do it anyway. And then that that's kind of what started me. And, and uh, after about eight months, I was super busy and I, I loved what I was doing. And I ended up going to a private studio. And then within three years, I built my own studio. Wow. And I continued to grow and grow and now have um, a larger studio than I had before. And, you know, now employees that work un underneath me and with me and, and now I'm mentoring them. Wow. So it's kind of amazing. I'm much, I'm much different person than I was then, you know, just mentally and my personality has really come out and all that. So through all those challenges, it's mm -hmm. helped me grow. Amazing. It's really neat. So. Yeah. All right. So we have a little bit of your background and we're here now just to remind everyone uh, talking with Roe Forge. That's R-O-W-F-O-R-G-E dot com is the website. And uh, tell us more about the app where we can get it. And let's go over some of the things specifically that this can help you with. Yeah. So over the years, um, like I said, I've always tried to learn more. Every year I'm thinking, what else can I learn? I need to uh, know more about the human body and how I can help other people with their fitness and health and make it more specific uh, and make sure that they're not wasting their time, so to speak. I mean, not that any workouts are a waste of time, but people are essentially making sacrifices to go work out. They're uh, spending lots of money many times, right? Uh, and lots of effort. And then many of them may get injured or they, they get frustrated because they hit plateaus. And then they're like, you know what? I'm just, I'm going to stop for a little while and they end up quitting. That's very common, right? So I see that happening and I thought I need to learn as much as I can to help people avoid those pitfalls so they can continue to get results. So that's basically what Real Forge really is, is something that's highly detailed, highly personalized training program that can help you in many, many different ways. Because the rower is quite amazing that it is sort of like that hybrid that everybody's looking for. Um, I like to call it the oxymoron of muscle building cardio. 
and you think like muscle building cardio, uh, is that even possible? And yes, it is on the rower and maybe even the cross country skier. So that's the only other device that we know of that could also also build your cardiovascular system up while you you're working like 90% of your muscle with every rep. Not amazing. Wow. I can't believe that. I just like uh, for someone who used to work out and then I had kids, I'm stuck in the rut of not working out anymore. So I blame mm -hmm. myself, my lack of time, my job, my children, but I want to get back into it. But a lot of us, you know, I want yeah. to do stuff at home and it's hard to get out of the house these days. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I want to hear, come on, inspire me. <laughs> yeah. And so what you just said is so super common. We hear it all the time. Um, and people sort of just go, I don't know, I'm, I, I want to get back into it, but I don't know what to do. Well, you could download uh, the Rowforge app on either your iPhone or Google phone. It's on both uh, the Apple store and the Google Play store. And um, it has programs in there that will actually get you started. Like a getting started campaign is what it, it's listed in the app. And it'll send you through a conditioning program that will just help you basically get your form down you know, make every rep better than the last and start to build your aerobic capacity, which is sort of like your engine and, oh. um, yeah, the base of your aerobic ability. Ooh. And then from there, you can do a baseline test. Once you finish okay. that program, that's roughly six weeks. When you do the baseline test, it's going to set up a 2000 meter for you and you're going to finish as fast as you can. Okay. And that'll give you an estimated VO2 max for you at your current level right now. So that's your volume of maximal oxygen uptake or okay. how much oxygen your muscles can consume. That's really like your true fitness capacity. If we're talking about fitness here. Yeah. Okay. So now, okay, here's my baseline. It's either good. It's okay. Or it's excellent or whatever it is. Uh, it doesn't matter because it's just a baseline, right? Now we need a personalized training program designed to make it better. And that's exactly what the RopeForge app will do for you. It has actually like 50 workouts in there that are all personalized. As soon as you finish that 2000 meter baseline test, all the workouts in the app get populated with these targets. And they're, it's all based on power output, which is like, you know, thousands of lab tests have, have led us into this math and all these ratios of what, uh, if you can sustain like a hundred Watts average on your test, then, you should be able to do, let's say, like 76 watts average for an hour or whatever it is. You know, there's all these different ratios. So then all the workouts in the app will have all these targets for you to sort of try to achieve. And if you can't quite hit them right right now, that's OK. You can try it again next week. Maybe you do two or three uh, workouts per week, something like that. And after four to six weeks, you're going to have a significant improvement. Then you can retest your baseline and it should be higher. And then you sort of start over. You can either do the same workouts again at a higher output, uh, power output, or you can just switch it up and do a different workout in the same energy system. There's lots of variety for you to work with. Wow. And I'm looking, by the way, you're also on Instagram. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Fishing around Instagram, uh, boys and girls, if you are listening, it's Row Forge, R O W F O R G E. And uh, these personalized training programs we're talking about here. Download the app in the app store right now. Um, and there's also, you know, I want to hear about your clients. I want to hear about the testimonials. And there's also a free 30 days, right? Yep. Yep. Free 30 days. So you can download it right now. You're not going to be charged for the first month. And that just sort of gives you a chance to play around with the app and, you know, see if it's something that you're going to like. You could do some of the, the workouts, like I said, maybe the conditioning program and see if it's for you. Uh, there's also some, uh, there's a link in the app that will lead you to some YouTube videos that we've made. These videos, some of them are, um, let's say like just some of your mechanics on how to row properly, which is really important. You want to make sure that you're not going to get hurt, right? But also make sure you're rowing properly to improve your performance as well and get the most out of the workouts. Um, so that's helpful, right? And that's in the app. Uh, that's, um, yeah, if we're talking like uh, some of the Instagram stuff, it's fun to look on there and see the uh, biking inspired workouts that we set up. I don't know if you noticed that some of the, some people like the biking theme. I don't know if you could share your screen. Uh, um, 
Uh, I, I mean, or even next time, because I would love to see, you know, some of these people in action. There's some great stuff, but I can't, I, I don't have it on my end, uh, but I was able to see on, on the page. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Now, yep. do you want to break it down even further to talk more about the, these benefits, the signature workouts? Um, and by the way, Dr. Kenneth J. So you, uh -huh. who is he exactly? Could you share how, how he's involved? Yeah, sure. So it's kind of a cool story. Um, I was reading one of his books, which was, um, it was called Viking Warrior Conditioning, like back in 2008 or 2009. And I thought to myself, man, this guy is awesome. He's incredibly intelligent and he's also ripped, super fit, very strong. And I really loved his book and the, the message that he was putting out. It was all about kettlebell work at the time. Uh, then I heard he happened to be coming to California from Denmark to be doing a workshop. And I thought, I got to go. I want wow. to go meet this guy and see what he's all about. So I did. And he was teaching a workshop on uh, applied neurology and joint mobility and stuff like that, which is a completely different topic, but really cool stuff. Uh, very helpful. <clears throat> so I did that. And then I got to know him a little bit. And then we connected on social media. And over the years, we sort of um, started to become friends. And I went to another one of his certifications on strength and power development. And then uh, I noticed around 2014 that he was writing another book called the cardio code. And so I decided I'll download the book and I'm going to read it. It was like life changing when oh I read goodness. all the stuff about cardiovascular physiology for the first time and how not every workout just because it's getting your heart rate up actually improves your cardiovascular system. And that's, uh, I was actually confused about that at the time. And you still find most people today are quite confused about how to categorize cardiovascular training versus strength training and whether they're actually exercising their heart in a healthy way or not. Yeah, I am. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> yeah I know. Yeah. Like I said at the time, this was new to me. Um, it made sense, but I was like, wow, I didn't know that. So I like to tell everybody, you know, there's like a lot of different tools in fitness and you need to know when to use what tool for, for the job that you have available, right? Whether you want to build muscle and bone density, or you need to develop your cardiovascular system, your view too, you need a different tool. Um, so that's something that I learned from him that year. Uh, and then I, and then he, he had a uh, certification on the cardio code 2015 in San Diego. So once again, he came from Denmark and taught this certification there. And I attended that. Uh, and then at that point we sort of really hit it off as friends and, um, we decided let's meet up and talk about what we can do with this information that you've developed because it's life changing, incredible stuff. And that at that point we decided, I think if we, if we, um, if we really want to get this information out to the world, we need to build an app. And we thought, well, I don't even know if it's possible, but um, let's go ahead and look into it. And sure enough, we were able to do so. It took roughly two years from start to finish, from that point that we decided we want to build this app, um, but we got it done. And he has an incredible amount of knowledge. He's been uh, head of research, I think, for Copenhagen University of Copenhagen for over 10 years, exercise physiologist. He has a very long list of um, qualifications. And now he's head of research at the Monarch company there in Florida, and also just loves to read research for fun. <laughs> this guy's pretty brilliant. Amazing. Now, is this like new, like, you know, cause I'm not in this business that you are and some people may be curious. Is there any other app like, th like this out there? I mean, uh, not really in this way. There are, there are definitely other rowing apps out there, but yet I like to call row forge more of a fitness app because it's not necessarily all about rowing, even though we use the rower, we're just identifying the rower as one of the number one ways to build and develop fitness, if that makes sense, right? Your fitness can be built and developed very well, very effectively by spending time training on the rower. So that's why we picked it. It's not necessarily because we wanted a rowing app, if that makes sense. That is awesome. All right. Well, hold on, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We have uh, still seven minutes left in the show. I just need you to remind everyone how we can get the app, where we can contact you and find you and all this information out. Cool. Yeah. So um, you could uh, you know, definitely send us an email, rowforge at iCloud.com. 
Um, you can go to our website, roforge.com, right? Or visit our Instagram and send me a message there. And that's still the same thing, roforge. That's our uh, na name there. So, yeah, check out some of the uh, pictures and the videos that we posted, some of the workouts. Um, one of my favorite workouts in there, if you want to know, is uh, it's called Mjolnir, which is Thor's hammer. And it consists of all of your personalized targets once you complete that 2,000 meter baseline. And it's designed to increase your VO2, but you're also going to actually train all of the energy systems in the human body because it's going to take you through a 100 meter 30 second rest, a 200 meter 30 second rest, a 300 meter 30 second rest, 400 30 second rest, and then a 500 meter. Then you get a five minute break and then you do it all over again up to five rounds. So it's a pretty stout workout. It's about 7,500 meters and it could take you about an hour to complete, but it's awesome. It's one of our favorite workouts in the app. Awesome. And can I ask you about this? Um, I was reading your, your, um, your information earlier about your words of inspiration and um you went through a lot you said you 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 started from nothing and and at one point you were even broke could you share that story and this uh encouragement or words of inspiration with yolo <laughs> yeah for sure yeah yolo exactly you know it's funny i had like kind of an epiphany one day that <clears throat> most people they like the phrase yolo or you only live once right um but what I've noticed is that most people will say that sort of catchphrase right before they end up doing something that's maybe not great for them. You know, they sort of justify it, say, hey, life's short. Let's go get hammered or let's go, you know, drink all night or and whatever they're going to do um, and sort of be wasteful in my mind. And now I totally I'm totally in support of taking time off and relaxing and having a good time with friends and all that. But at the same time, I look. I like to look at it a little differently, that if we're going to say life is short or you only live once, uh, why not go out there and do something with it, right? Why, why don't you go accomplish something and uh, strive for greatness and push yourself beyond your comfort level and you'd be surprised at what you can do? Love that because you have to strive and you have to. And in order to succeed, you got to push. And there's been ups and downs, I think, in everyone's lives. But the value of, you know, physical fitness and, and keeping our bodies healthy. I mean, do you also offer, you know, guidance with nutrition or is this strictly just, um, you know, the workout aspect of it? Well, in terms of the app, there's um, not really a lot of nutritional information in the app at this, at this time, but it could possibly be developed. And we're actually working on, uh, a second phase of the app right now with the developers. Um, it's going to be tied to a web-based application where a coach like myself could log in and they could link up all these users that they have, maybe some of the trainees that they uh, have fallen in their program and they can sort of train them through this web-based portal, which would be helpful. And then I think they could even relay uh, any other tips and you know tricks that they have, whether it be nutritional counseling or they want to help guide them with their strength training or mobility flexibility training as well. So that's sort of our goal is we're trying to uh, start, you know, branching the app out to where people have even more tools with it. This is so cool. How exciting. And when did the app actually launch, by the way? Oh, it's been live now for a number of years. Sweet. And has yeah, there been like any any updates or upgrades? How does that work? You know, are you finding out new information to add to it and, and different things? Yeah, yeah, we have so much to add to it. Um, it just sort of takes time to develop. Uh, like I said, we're going to develop that part of it. Wow. And we also, um, that should be done, I think, by the end of the year. But we're also putting an affiliate um, branch into the app as well to where people oh could then also promote the app and, uh, and then, you know, get paid doing that. So Exciting. This is great. Enough. Well, in our last two minutes together, um, we have to kind of sum up everything for today. Uh, Rowforge.com. Uh, what else did you want to leave your listeners off with, Wayne? Um, well, I love fitness and all the different tools of fitness um, for your body, your physical mm -hmm. health. But like we mentioned, also remember that it can give you a lot of mental fortitude in life. 
Um, so we say get out there and do something hard every day, whether it's uh, rowing, you're going to go for a run or you jump in a cold plunge. That's really popular these days or anything like that is so good for your mind, your mental fortitude, your strength and uh, continue to persevere out there and uh, accomplish something new. Well, thank you for being here. And one more time, tell us where we can find the app and how we go about doing that. Thank you. Uh, Rowforge.com. Go check it out. Uh, feel free to email us at rowforge at iCloud.com. If you'd like, we're here to help. And um, we can do anything to guide you on your fitness journey. Perfect. Well, thank you for being here. Excited to have you. And uh, yeah, thank hopefully you, we will. Are we connecting again soon or I don't know. Are we back next week? I would week? love to. Yeah. I'll have to figure out when, but that sounds great. Awesome. Sounds good. I would love to. Yeah. I would love to bring up, you know, some slides to check out like the app itself so we can visually see for those of us here on the Zoom cast. It'd be great to see. See as yeah. we talk. This is That'd awesome. BO2 Max Training. Thank you for teaching me something new <laughs> and our listeners yeah. as well. And uh, stay healthy, stay fit. And uh, thank you again. We'll hopefully talk soon, Wayne. Thank you, Jill. Have a thank great day. You. Bye bye. You too. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay.